right, so now that the duct is hooked to the central return, it's time to hook up this end of the equipment. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that the DU200 here has an airflow arrow that indicates which direction the air is moving, and we are going to want to depressurize this duct system for this test. So I'm going to position the fan like so, so that we're sucking air out of the duct system. Uh, I do have a ring installed on this side. This is the mid-sized ring. Um, it attaches with some Velcro. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up the duct to this end of the, uh, the fan. Got a little bit of Velcro here to make sure that it stays on tightly. I already have the blue tube running to inside of the supply duct to measure the pressure inside the ducts. And I need to hook up the rest of the tubes to the duct tester. So here I have a green port where I hook the green hose, a yellow port where the yellow hose goes, and of course the Cat5 cable goes in so that my gauge can control the speed of the fan. And then I also have the power cable that brings power to the fan itself. So at this point, uh, we're ready to hook the hoses up to the gauge at the other end of the umbilical cord. And um, as you would guess, it's just a, an exercise of matching up colors. So we're gonna go green to green, yellow to yellow, and blue to blue. And make sure that our ethernet port or our uh, Cat5 cable is plugged in there. Um, if you are doing a leakage to outside test, which we'll illustrate here in a little bit, you would need to run uh, a red hose or some type of hose from the red port to the outside so that you can reference that outside pressure. And at this point, our gauge is hooked up to the fan and we're ready to turn on the gauge and run the test. <laughs> 